Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Geiko Kujo. Now we have made an incursion into Miyoshi territory. As you can see, we are right next to Sumotu Castle. And after we have taken this, we will be heading to Sakai straight away, and hopefully taking that as well. So, let's head in, and hope that my newly formed army can actually deal the damage to take these guys down. Now... I say that because I was, as you know, having morale issues previously, and what I have done is consolidate my forces into only two types of units, such as Shimazu units and Ryuzoji units. So I only have those in my army at the moment, as well as, of course, Samurai Wives and Onabushis. As you can see, we have a rather substantial amount of spearmen. And yes, I made a few mistakes actually with leveling up some of the Ryu Zoji units because I did not realize that they were actually very good archers. So I actually need to level any other upgrades into archers. So yes, hopefully that will work out quite nicely. Of course, we do have a rather substantial amount already of spearmen, so I don't think we really need any more. But it's always good, I suppose, to have as many units as you can potentially get, although I do only have 151 units coming into this siege, and I can potentially have a maximum of 206, so I may be putting myself at an unnecessary disadvantage, but we will soon see how this pans out, of course. So let's just continue to harass their archers as best we can. Oh no, a few of them are actually taking down our Onobushis. No! How could you? Take them down, everyone. Oh, yes. There we are. Anyone else? Aha, just this one fellow here. And we took him down. And there is one right next to me. Aha! <laughs> okay. He was rather surprised, I suppose, that we took him down there with all of us surrounding him. Oh, no. He was not pleased. Okay, here we go, heading into the courtyard, and oh my, wow, my units are actually decimating the enemy's forces. I actually thought I was with the main force, but apparently a commando unit has gone ahead of the main and has dealt rather severe blows already to the enemy's forces. And actually opened up a huge hole in their defenses, which is actually what I was attempting to do when I said in one of the previous episodes I would like to get a commando unit going. But at the moment, I don't think it's too wise, considering some of my units are not exactly the highest levels. So, once we start leveling up and gaining some Hatamoto units, I do realize we have some Hatamoto guards, but not enough, in my opinion, to make it worth it for such a specific task. But maybe we'll be lucky enough to have one of those later on. Hopefully when the Miyoshi have been taken down, perhaps? Maybe... A little earlier than that, I would hope at least. Now, let's get out our bow and snipe these fellows over there. Oh, yes. Take him down. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can snipe through the wall? No, I doubt it. <laughs> okay, so I must also let you know that Mei Ling is our only combat effective companion at the moment because I have sent Kaguya to the Oda clan for a non aggression treaty. Hopefully she will return with good news, otherwise we may perceive that as a hint of aggression from the Oda clan in the future. So we can only hope that it is good news, otherwise we'll have to be prepared for any eventuality. You never know what they could pull out of the bag. They are rather formidable in battles, of course, and... Who told these spearmen that you could use a spear indoors? How could you? No. <laughs> okay, well, at least we can snipe this gunner. There we are. And we will charge the rest of them. Only 60 units remaining, and I say only in a rather faint fashion, I suppose. Not really very confident that we can take these guys down without sustaining a lot of casualties, as you can see. We just lost a Ryu Zoji officer. I think it would be very good of me to actually start some archery though. Maybe get some headshots going on the enemy's archers as well, and some gunners too. 
Yes, headshots all around. That's what we like. Oh yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should get in there now with my Naganata. Let's do it. Let's take him down, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we are. This is actually doing quite a good job so far. As you can see, the range it gives me is actually very, very useful. It prevents me from actually taking unnecessary damage as well. Okay, now I do need to continue the overhead slashes. I am now seeing that... Using a horizontal swipe is not exactly the most effective in close quarters. That is, of course, if you are against the wall. Otherwise, you're fine to do it such as this. Oh, yes, there we are. Slaughtered all of them. And Mei Ling has actually attained quite a few kills in that as well. And our reward was 39 morale. Whoa, okay. That is actually very impressive indeed. I was hoping for something like that. Help us out quite a bit, and oh, it actually seems as though they had a lot of prisoners here, so it seems like we will be having a few morale issues once again. Well, <laughs> okay, I will see you in just a moment once I have recruited all of these prisoners. Okay, well, there we are. We have ended up with 193 units. That is actually very impressive, to say the least, from just one castle. And that actually makes me wonder how many they actually have in Sakai, which we will be seeing shortly, no doubt. Now, if I can just level up all these units, thank you very much. As you can see, I did actually go around a few of our castles and towns and recruited quite a few samurai units to garrison in Himeji as I took out a few Ryuzoji units from there and they actually drained me of I think it was 15,000 and that was actually very impressive to say the least I was not expecting that much cash to be taken but I suppose I am just not used to the amazing amounts of mon that it actually requires so here we are now we want to definitely give one of these castles to Lord Yokoyama he is our new addition and that will increase his relation even further to 40. Okay, that's not too bad. Lord Sesai is 47 and Shijioki is 51. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that, of course. And there we are. Very nice. Sumoto Castle is now ours. And now we will head to Sakai as quickly as we potentially can. And, oh, wait a minute. There is an Amako vassal there. What is going on there? Let's just take a look really quick and see whether the Amoko clan are still in the game. They still are, but I don't think they actually own anything, do they? Let's take a look really fast here. I don't think they do. Well, I think this is probably the best time to take them out of the game, I suppose. Let's just check here. No. Okay, it seems as though this is the final vassal, and we will be probably taking him down because he only has seven units, or should I say nine units, in his army. And yes, we will hopefully get him to join us. Maybe we can persuade him. Let's see. Ah, uh, he's not one for going into corners. Okay, well, I suppose we will deliver him our demands, and we will tell him to prepare himself oh yes okay so he does only have nine so this should be very easy although we are spawning into a very dense forest indeed so this may actually be <laughs> a little more trouble than it is worth although it would be very nice to take out the Amico clan from the game so we don't have to worry about them any further and I suppose we will continue with our forces and just charge in head on and there's some nice damage, and taken him down. That was a mounted officer, not bad at all. It seems he actually has some rather high level units. And I actually can't remember fighting the Amako clan at all, so that's actually a real shame, because it would have been nice to fight them in their prime. 
but it seems that is not to be this time around. Oh, come on. Come on, Bruce, you can do this. I know that I am feeble at controlling you and everything, but still, your natural skill shines through. Oh yes, there we are. One morale, and I suppose we will let him go? Yeah, why not? Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we have 200 units, which is, yeah, not exactly great, I suppose. And we have declared war against the Amico clan. The Uesugi clan has declared war against the Bertil clan because of that. But I think the Amico clan will be dissolved any time now. So I think we're in a good spot. Let's just hope anyway. So before we head on to Sakai, we just need to level up a couple of these units first. Okay, well, there we are. We have leveled everyone up and now Sakai is in our sights and it will hopefully be ours in just a couple of moments. We will soon see how many they actually have stationed there, though. They could have a rather substantial amount, which would be a little disheartening, to say the least. Although, they could have a large amount of prisoners as well. They have 59 prisoners and 677 units total. Ooh, I am not entirely sure whether we can do this. But I think it will be the most entertaining thing to do, so I think we will be heading in in just a moment once I have leveled up everyone to their fullest extent. So, let's do it. Besiege it, batter down the gates. This is actually a very risky maneuver. I think it probably would have been safer to go for the castle down here. But, unfortunately, <laughs> I am a little too headstrong for my own good, perhaps. Okay, so we are currently facing a firing squad right there of archers, and hopefully I'll be able to take out a few so we can prevent them from finishing off our units and maybe weakening them up for their infantry as well. Take them down, Bruce. Come on. Oh, no, he keeps moving. He keeps shuffling from side to side. What a beast. No. Okay. Well, we took out two out of the three sets of archers there. Not bad. And now we do actually need to support our units, or maybe not. Our Shimazu Hatamoto guards are completely wrecking everything, as you can see. Oh my goodness. I was actually unaware of how many Hatamoto guards we actually had, but it seems quite a few. So I'm very pleased with that indeed. Oh my goodness. Okay, Mei Ling is actually going on a killing spree as well. So maybe this siege will be easier than I imagined. We will hopefully see shortly how that pans out, of course. Okay, so they have 100 units remaining. We have 70. We have currently lost only 5, and they have lost 75. So it seems as though this particular siege is in our favor. Oh my. Take them all down, come on. Let's block some attacks. Yes, thank you very much. Oh wow, okay, there's a lot of units streaming out of that courtyard over there. We may have to be a little cautious here. Okay, I think I'll get out my bow once again and see if we can pick off a few in the distance. That was a nice headshot right there, and maybe we can get another one. Oh no, they're being rather sneaky now. No, he slowed down just as I was about to hit him. Oh well, at least we took one of those guys down in the distance. And it seems as though my huge death ball of units is streaming down into their courtyard, their final stand. Or should I say their penultimate stand? Because I suppose the structure over there is their final stand. But we will soon see the inside of their walls, no doubt. Let's do it! Come on, slash them up! Let's block a few of their attacks and slip on by here. Oh no, that was terrible. Okay, let's actually jump off the side here and see what we can do. Okay, there we are. Not bad. Oh my goodness, yes. When I said it was terrible, I actually blocked, but 
it was hilarious because the fellow that I was actually attempting to block changed his direction at the last moment, and then the other fellow that I had actually stopped blocking at the time got through with his strike, and the other guy also got through with his strike. That's why I took double damage. That was terrible. Oh my goodness. That just shows the AI is so good at times. And at other times, very bad, but at the very good times, they are formidable. I just have to wait, I suppose, for my units to actually get through this bottleneck. Maybe I can help them out a bit with my bow skills. Oh yes, it's actually not going too badly. I am hitting a few of their units on the other side, even though I cannot see any of them. I am using the force. There we are. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. Get up there. We've taken out 210 of their units so far. And we have only lost, I believe, 14 total. Let me through. Let me through, troops. We need to get up there. Ryuzoji officers, come on. Take them down. Oh, no. Why are we stuck here? I think there's only a handful of units at the top of these stairs. That would be rather embarrassing. Oh no. Come on everyone, someone has actually made their way through. Come on, let's do it. Mei Ling. I think Mei Ling has actually made her way through, maybe. Because she is actually going on a huge killing spree. Triple kill, and then she was taken out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Look, there's actually nothing going on here. Oh my goodness. Come on, dudes. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I actually had no idea that they were having issues like that. I thought we were being stopped by units, but apparently not. So that's actually pretty terrible. Come on. Ah, oh, Me not noticing that for so long, that is... Wow. Cannot believe it. Okay, I think we're actually going to pull back a little bit here because we are currently being taken out by their archers in the tower. So it would be quite nice if we could pull them out into open field. Where we are protected by the walls, of course. And now we will converge on them once again. Let's do it. Take as many out as we can and then we will rush up the stairs. Yes, there we are. Okay, so it seems as though I was a little correct in actually pulling us back because they do have a handful of archers here. Not too many, but I suppose every damage that our units take is always good to prevent, so not bad. And oh my, they actually have a large amount of archers in the final castle here. Oh no. This is not going to be good. If I get focused by all of them at once, we are going to be very sorry, that is for sure. Oh no. Okay, I do not want to actually go in there first. As you can see, I am actually taking rather severe damage from a lot of their archers. Maybe I can pick some of them off. Take down that guy, yes. And maybe this one as well, yes, okay. There we are, okay, not bad. Okay, come on, let us in there, let's do it. Massacre them, all of them. Unless they want to join us, of course, otherwise, leave them alive. <laughs> yeah, some of these could actually come in handy. Oh no, oh, this is potentially not good. Okay, I was somewhat shocked by that. There we are, took him down, and oh, there's someone else. How dare you. Okay, this is where it becomes a little bit uncomfortable because I am very shocked and a little bit speechless by how many units are actually being spawned in here. Oh no. Okay, well, let's just take out their archers to begin with. Take it one step at a time. Yes, that would be the best thing to do. And then... 
get back into the death ball and hopefully assist our units because it seems as though we're actually losing quite a few of them now. We do only have 65 units remaining, but they're not all here, mind you. They are actually traveling from the spawn area and hopefully going to be here rather soon so that we can actually get reinforcements. But it seems as though we have actually pulled through nevertheless. That is thanks to, of course, our veteran retainers, our Hatamoto guards and the various other units that we have here. But it seems as though we are lucky enough to actually succeed in taking Sakai in the exact same episode as taking another castle. That's good. Very nice. Making some good progress right there. Now, after we have actually exited from the unit's casualties screen, I will be taking a look at the world map so that we can see how much red there is in the south of Japan, of course. Okay, so 13 renown. 35 morale was our reward for that. We took out 520 units, and we did lose 41, so that is a rather severe loss, but hopefully not too many... Oh, well, we lost seven Hatamoto cards. I was about to say, yes, not as many Shimazu and Ryuzoji units, because they are the meat of our forces at the moment. And now we have to defeat the street defenders, so... Yeah... I am not entirely confident that we'll be able to pull this off, actually, but maybe if I am lucky enough to actually get a few hits with my bow, as I am at the moment, we might actually be able to do this. Oh, and I killed one of my own men. Wonderful. Well, <laughs> my apologies, Ryuzoji officer. You are actually very important, so... Oh, no. Well... We did gain 13 renown, so I suppose that is all worth it. Now, it is a 3 versus 3? Nope, a 3 versus 5, by the looks of things. So let's do it. Come on. Take them all down as best you can. Oh yeah, there we go. And now I will let our units deal with the last remaining unit. And there we are. Very nice. Okay, so another 13 renown, that's great. We never usually gain a lot of renown, that is for sure. So, there we go. We will now let him go as well. And now we get to recruit a lot of prisoners yet again. So, I suppose I will cut away while I do this. Okay, well, there we are. We have taken all of the rescued prisoners, and we have also gained the maximum amount of units we can actually have in our army at any one time, so we'll probably need to garrison Himeji with a couple more units to hopefully balance out our morale issues as well. So, here we are. We now want to give this town to... Hmm, this is difficult. Okay, let's give it to Lord Sesai, I think. He already has a town, though. Who doesn't have a town? Lord Hoshi doesn't have a town, Gonosuke doesn't have a town, and Goemon doesn't have a town. Wow. Okay, let's give it to Goemon. Okay, so it seems as though everyone does not like a Goemon that much, by the looks of things. Oh well. <laughs> not too bad, I suppose. Okay. Well, there we are. We shared all of that, and it seems as though Lord Hoshi is not very happy with that for some reason. Okay. Well, yeah, he'll just have to deal with that. And no, I don't want to sell my tools. Okay, I do want that silk, though, do I? I like velvet, don't I? I want velvet instead, don't I? Yes, I think so. Okay. Just in case I want to move my court at a later time, that is. Okay. Sell all of this. Okay. That's good. Okay, so now, as I said, I believe we'll take a look at the world map and see how it's going with our attempts to conquer all of Japan. Oh my. Okay, every time I look at this, I am so surprised at how much progress we've made. Look at that! Almost half! That is great. Okay, the Miyoshi clan do actually own a rather substantial amount of this midsection right here. And then we come across the Oda clan as well, so... I suppose... We are either going to be fighting them, or we're going to be bypassing them and going through... the Northern Territories. Okay. Well... I think I'll end this episode off here. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.